Welcome to video 32 on flight sim navigation where we are still working on this radio and autopilot project. In the previous video we configured this course knob into MobiFlight to change course or OBS on the steam cockpit and in this video we will do all the other knobs that we need for our autopilot like the heading of course very important and the airspeed and over here we have altitude and vertical speed. Those four we are going to configure in MobiFlight. Let's have a look. MobiFlight is open. We are connected with the Arduino, which we can see by this green tick mark. Let's first add the hardware, the four knobs, and we do that in the extra menu, then settings, and in the MobiFlight module stop we find our connected Arduino and there we have the task to add these knobs these encoders so we click add device well it's obviously already done here in my configuration but uh, if you had to have to add something click this and then in this window fill in the properties I gave it a name it can be any name you like uh, selected the pin numbers where it is connected to and with the encoders we always have these five encoder types it's never sure when you buy one if which of these five works best so that is a little bit of trial and error right so uh, the encoder heading is here and we also have an encoder for the airspeed uh, same procedure and we also have encoders for the uh, altitude like here and for vertical speed it's exactly the same procedure then there is something with the heading encoder i would like to use the push button in that encoder and therefore i also created here an encoder heading switch it is one pin and it has this same name encoder heading switch we are going to use that because if you press that heading encoder it can synchronize the heading bug with the current heading of the airplane which is an easy function to use uh, when we are done adding these uh, of course we need to upload this new configuration to our arduino via this upload icon and also it's always a good practice to save this in a file such that we can open it later if any trouble has arisen let's cancel out and let's now go to the input tab uh, such that we can configure our software here we are in the input tab and to add a new configuration scroll to the bottom and click this uh, row over here double click it and then you have an empty row I already have my configuration done so we are just going to have a look what I have done uh, here is the encoder heading don't forget to activate it of course and then click the edit button in this window we are going to the input tab and there we first select our arduino and then select the uh, hardware knob that we just configured so we have our encoder heading over here then rotating the knob left what should happen well we select an event id and then from this long list we select heading bug decrement well it's a long list as we can see over here uh, the heading bug decrement for turning left and when turning right uh, click this top over here we uh, select heading bug increment don't forget to press use in both cases uh, because only then these numbers are filled in this is it for the heading knob but we also created this heading switch uh, and so we add a new config and that config is uh, the heading encoder switch heading sync yeah it's just a name uh, you can give it any name you like uh, I selected this uh, heading switch hardware button of course first and then when I press it 
the function again an event id the function is heading bug set and that will take care that if we press the button the heading bug goes to our current heading which is a very convenient function to have uh, it, it doesn't work on uh, gouge cockpits but it works on glass cockpits at least right uh, so far for the heading let's go to the next one which is uh, airspeed uh, yeah i can see it over here the airspeed well it's all quite straightforward uh, again we select of course in this case our just created airspeed uh, knob uh, encoder turning left what we need to select is autopilot speed var decrement var is probably variable speed variable decrement and of course when we rotate this knob right it is the autopilot speed variable increment don't forget to press the use button let's add another config for altitude uh, i already did it so over here it is don't forget to activate it press the edit button and do all those steps again select the arduino select the button that we already created in the settings and then on left we find the event id and this time it is the autopilot altitude variable decrement don't forget to press use and in the right tab we find autopilot pilot altitude variable increment don't forget to use uh, then last but not least we have vertical speed uh, yeah over here i already have it uh, in the edit tab the things that we uh, select now for left is autopilot vertical speed variable decrement and for the right we have vertical speed variable increment don't forget to press use this is it for the configuration so let's put it to the test we have here our 737 cockpit and we have the autopilot panel and the course button that, that was already fully functional uh, as we can see over here in the screen of the cockpit and also over here of course in our panel and of course also over here in our display and well that was already in the previous video now we have added the heading well over here i can change the heading and i can see on the cockpit that the heading indicator is uh, changing and also i can see that the heading book over here is changing so that seems to be working quite well yeah and of course also that heading book over there it's all in synchronization uh, I made a little mistake in the previous part where I said if we press this button it is going to uh, sync with the current heading uh, that is not the case the, that the event is uh, heading bug set and that needs a parameter and I used the parameter zero which means it jumps to north well okay that's just a little something to remember I cannot find uh, the correct event to set the heading bug to our current heading. Uh, that's a little bit a pity, but it's no other than that. Uh, int uh, the international, the <laughs> indicated airspeed. Uh, we can see that changing also on this display and also here on top on the cockpit display so that is working fine and then we have the altitude and yeah well uh, it is not a surprise that that is working perfectly well also and we see the uh, vertical speed jump to a new value as soon as we change the altitude and we can change that vertical speed and in this case even as a bonus this button is uh, moving while this course button was not moving so that is uh, funny I don't know why that course button does not move but the vertical speed uh, knob is moving with what we are doing here on our autopilot panel well I, I'm quite happy it is uh, all working nice and uh, yeah we can have a lot of fun with this autopilot uh, besides the fact that we have not yet discussed 
how we get these this seven segment displays operational here on this panel so that will be the subject of the next video